In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to configure private messaging in BuddyBoss platform. So first, you'll want to go to BuddyBoss components and enable private messaging. After doing that, on the front end, if you're using our BuddyBoss theme, you'll see a little message icon, which shows if you've gotten any new messages. And when you go to another user's profile, you'll get the button to send them a message. So let's add some dummy data so that we can see what the messages actually look like. So to do that, I'm going to go to BuddyBoss tools and we're going to import some private messages. And then I'm going to log in as, let's say, Luna. And we can see she has a bunch of messages. So here we have our inbox and you can see the messages that have come in. And I can type a reply. And then if I double click this, I get my little pop up editor, I can give it some formatting and click send reply. Now let's go to Nicolina's profile. And I'm going to send her a message. This is my first private message to her alone. Send. And now if I go to her profile and click message again, instead of going going to a compose screen, it's going to take me back into my previous conversation with her. Because in BuddyBoss platform, all messages are single threaded, just like Facebook and LinkedIn and most social networks. Within our inbox, we can also compose new messages right here. So let's go to our members directory and check out who we've got. All right, so I'm going to send a message to Maverick. So I just start typing his name. And he'll show up. I could add more recipients as well if I wanted to. And I'll click send. And like that, it's going to send a message to Maverick. And now I have a message thread with, with him. So if I refresh this, you can see now that's added to my threads. And I can search my messages here as well. And it'll find it. So I want to show you some other features. We've actually added the ability to add a lot of media options into the messenger as well. So first, we need to switch back to admin because that will allow us to do things in the admin here. And here under components, what I'm going to do is enable media uploading. And now when I go into settings, we have a media management area where we control where all these different media options are displaying. So one of the options is messaging. So first, we'll allow members to upload photos and private messages. Let's turn that on. And then let me go into my messenger. And I'll create a new message to, I'll, I'll write one to Luna here. And now you can see I have the ability to attach a photo here. So let's do that. So I'll pick this one. And I could pick a second one. And I can add a message too. And click send. And now we've attached images to our messenger and we've got this nice media pop-up. And then we can also attach emoji. So I can go in here and add emoji to messenger. We'll save that. And then let's refresh this. And now when I respond, I can say, and I can use my little emoji and we have lots of different options. So I'll just put some shades. And I can send that. And then we have one more option here, which is Giphy's. So if I go here, I can see we have Giphy API it allows us to do animated GIFs. So for this, you need to get a Giphy account and put in your API key and then we check it for messages. I'm not gonna do that right now. I have another tutorial all about media, which I'll actually set that up, but I'll just show you a demo of how it, how it looks. So this is our, our public demo. And you can see here that there's an animated GIF in here and I can click this and I can pick one or I can search in there as well. So I can paste a GIF in and send that with my message as well. So I'm gonna show you one more option we have here, which is if I activate member connections, which is basically like friendship connection relationships. I can go into settings, connections, and from here, 
I can check this option, require users to be connected before they can message each other. So let's save that. And now here, if I go to members, we can see that Madeline, I, I am connected with her. So if I want to send her a message, it's going to work. But if I go to, for example, Charles, I'm not connected to Charles, so there's no me send message button on his profile. And if I try to type a message to Charles, it's not going to give me a result because I'm not supposed to send him a message until I connect with him. So this is useful on sites like maybe at a dating site, for example, you, where you don't want people to be bombarded by messages only through people they've approved. That's one example. There's all kinds of other use cases for this. And we can also see that if I go back to Luna, so I had a conversation with her previously, but it tells me you need to be connected with this member to continue the conversation. So we had some past conversation, but now we can't follow up on it anymore because we've turned on this setting and I'm not connected with her. So that's shut off. I could undo that if I want to. And now we can pick back up where we left off. I want to talk a little bit about how BuddyPress does messaging for those of you who are coming over to BuddyBoss platform from BuddyPress. As I've mentioned in some other tutorials, BuddyBoss platform is a fork of BuddyPress. The reason we forked it is that we wanted to modify BuddyPress in ways that could really improve the customer experience. This is a perfect use case where we just couldn't make an inbox like this through plugins. We had to overtake BuddyPress to do this. So I want to show you some of the differences if you're coming from BuddyPress. In BuddyPress, you have your message inbox and it's kind of set up like Gmail. So I have an inbox and I've got a sent message folder and then I have compose and under compose, there's a subject and a message. So every message is isolated conversation with a specific subject. It's, it's like Gmail and it's not like Facebook Messenger or LinkedIn or WhatsApp or any of those where it's a continuous threaded conversation. So what we've done is made this a threaded conversation and this creates a much more simple user experience and it's more intuitive. It's what people expect from a social network. And it's also going to allow us to do some cool things in the future. Like we could have a live chat that syncs with this. That would only be possible if it's threaded. And in our mobile apps, we want to support Messenger and we can only really do that if it's threaded. Otherwise, it's going to feel like Gmail on your phone, which would not be that cool for a social network. But we want to make sure this was backwards compatible with BuddyPress. So any messages you've created in BuddyPress will work when you switch to this. It's just that if you had multiple threads, those threads will be isolated here. But going forward, you guys will probably just respond to the most recent one because when you click on someone's profile to message them, it will always take them into the most recent one. But data wise, they're all the same. Like when you create a new message in here in the database, we're actually storing a sort of false subject behind the scenes so that data wise, the structure is basically the same as BuddyPress. So that all, all your old messages can still port into here and work fine.